Hi guys, me again. Oh, so it is Wednesday today and um, oh, it's Wednesday evening. It is quarter to seven. I'm in my gym jammies. And these are the other gym jammies that my other sister bought me. Lovely. My son has gone to the cinema with my brother and sister-in-law and niece and nephew. I've made myself a nice cup of tea. I've had beans on toast for dinner. Oh, it was so lovely. Does anybody else just crave really simple food after Christmas and New Year? We have been tidying up the house. I've been putting Christmas decorations away. I've still got a few. I've got the um, tree with the lights on. I've taken all the baubles off, but I've got the tree with the lights on still up because the 12th day of Christmas isn't till the 5th of January, so I've got two more days yet. Yeah, just having a massive sort out in my son's room today. He had lots of clothes for Christmas and birthday. In Cardiff, we get like these plastic bags delivered through our letterboxes, and they're for like um, cancer research, leukemia, um, dogs trust. There's loads of them and they put them through and then they say, what day they are collecting and what you can put in the bag. So today, yesterday we had it, sorry, for cancer research and they're coming to pick it up tomorrow at some point. I just put it outside on the wall. They just take clothes and shoes. They don't take any bedding. Um, they don't take bric-a-brac, pillows, duvets, anything like that. So I thought, perfect, we'll put all my son's clothes that he doesn't want or they don't fit anymore in there for cancer research. Some of his clothes go to my niece and nephew, uh, my nephew, and also I put them up for free on Marketplace, but he's had a lot of wear out these clothes. Some of them are stained and I don't know like if they take them to be recycled and get them weighed. So it doesn't matter if they've got holes in them or if they're stained because they're just being recycled. So that's what we've done today. So my brother came over and helped me do a few jobs and I sent a bag of clothes for my nephew back home with him. Now I don't know if I mentioned this but my sister and brother-in-law in North Wales gave my son a television, a big one, to put up. They no longer wanted it and to put up in his bedroom. For Christmas I had a voucher that I could spend in lots of different places and I decided to spend it in Argos and I bought him a TV, um, what do they call it? A TV mount or a frame, you know, that you put on the wall, you screw to the wall and holds the TV up. So that's what I spent my voucher on. And Argos had the TV stands or whatever they're called for half price. So I managed to get one of them and also an extension lead. So I asked my brother to come and help me put the mount on the wall and do the TV. Also, I um, have a mirror on the wall in the hallway and there's a plug socket underneath and the string holding the mirror up broke and landed on this plug socket and smashed it to smithereens. So I went, I bought a new plug socket and I'm, I'm really scared of electrics. I don't mind changing fuses in plugs or anything like that, but rewiring and wiring plugs, oh gosh, uh-uh, no. So my brother came over, helped me do that, put the TV up on the wall for my son, got him all sorted in there. So that was really nice. Um, so it feels like a good, productive day. My son is super, super chuffed. And it's just nice, you know, like after Christmas, you've got stuff everywhere just to find a home for it. I don't know if anybody else is the same, but when I put my Christmas decorations up, I get like really sad at the thought of having to take them down soon. And I, oh no, my Christmas decorations, don't want to take it down. And then as soon as like Christmas is over and done with, I just think, oh gosh, I want them gone now. I want them gone. And I'm the same every year. And when I, when I put everything away and my house looks a little bit bare again. It's like, oh, yes, yes. It just, it just helps my mind. So tonight I've got my cup of tea and my blanket. I didn't finish it, I was so busy. But what I'm doing now is, I got this blanket from Attic24 and I just really love the colours 
I followed the stitch but I haven't followed her colours I've just done, done it my own way and I never learn to tie in my ends as I go along so I've started a border now I don't want it any longer so I've started the border and it'll make it a little bit wider now I know it'll make it a little bit longer but not as much as a whole stitch so that is what I am doing tonight I'm doing the border I'm tying in ends and as soon as this rain goes away which I think towards the weekend is getting cooler but it's getting drier and that's the main thing I am going to the allotment I have to before the end of this month because at the end of this month my plot is being relet so I need to go over there tidy up that the plot that I'm giving away or giving up um, I need to move everything to the plot I'm still keeping so I will only have one allotment I have been feeling really ugh and I was thinking of getting rid of my both allotments I just thought the people there, the committee members, are not very nice. Some of them are, some of them are lovely. But there's just a couple that spoil it. A lot of people are leaving because of it. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go as well. But I know I'd regret it. So I'm going to give it one more year. I really am. And um, hopefully I will get my mojo back and want to do it. I, I can feel it coming slightly but by now i'd be planting my seed potatoes i'd be planting peppers and chilies oh all sorts but no uh broad beans but i haven't done any of that and um i'm hoping when i go up there i will get my mojo back and yeah i'll be i'll be good to go again hopefully there's so many sales on at the moment isn't there and i'm getting emails and i see these adverts online for all these wonderful things and all these pretty things and i think oh gosh but you know it's only a bargain if i need it so i do look at the sales absolutely because there are a couple of things you know that i think that i need i make a list if i don't get it for christmas or if i get vouchers i can use them and get more for my money I love jugs I love jugs and I saw this beautiful one and it was half price and it was reduced to £12.50 and it had beautiful little bows on it for oh wow and then I thought oh my goodness I'm gonna have to work a whole hour to get that and it's like is it worth it is it worth it and I just keep on telling myself that I don't need it. I don't need it. What do I need a jug for? I've got plenty. I've got a big one. I've got a little one. I've got a medium one. You know, you can only use one at a time, can't you? Um, and the jugs I have got um, have been bought for me as gifts. I haven't actually paid for them and I've had them a few years. So I need to do some batch cooking. Yeah, so I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and a lovely New Year. I am going to get on now with doing my blanket in peace before my son comes home. Right then guys, I'm going to crack on with this. So thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi guys, me again. So it is Thursday today and um, I've been in work all day. <laughs> and my son I went to play with a friend of his which was so helpful because he doesn't mind coming to work with me. Um, but when I'm there all day, he does get a bit bored, so it's nice that he can go to a friend's house. So we are still eating Christmas and New Year food, and we're just having really, really simple food at the moment. Tonight, my son just wants a bacon bap, so I've got the last of the bacon out of the fridge, and I've got some of these baps in the freezer. So I take that out, he might have one or two, see how he does and I'm going to have the cauliflower and oregano tart that I got reduced from Lidl the other week day is it a week ago now? I don't know anyway I bought it put it in the freezer so we had um, one of each I got four pies and I um, just the little ones and I cooked two of them I can't remember where I was now let me have a look sweet potato, pumpkin seed and feta, that's what the other one was. So I cooked one of each on New Year's Day, oh, and it went down a treat. 
I cut them up into four and everybody had a little bit and um, they all went. I never even had a I never even had a taste but apparently they were really nice and they smelled gorgeous cooking. So I'm going to have one of that and I've still got some salady bits left over so I'm going to have it with a nice salad and my son is building Lego that he got for Christmas and I'm still doing my blanket and I'll watch some TV and I've just been getting my house organised or my flat organised. Uh, the roof was leaking again but my landlord sorted that straight away. The guys that fixed the roof last year, they were here oh, in a flash and, um, and really, really amazing. I was in work and they came in, I trust them enough. <laughs> anyway, the roofer phoned me and um, he was like, hiya, have you got a cat? I said no. I went, oh no. There's a cat running your flat and I thought it was yours, I've just left it in there. I'll go back now and get it out. <laughs> so my dad didn't have to come upstairs, bless him. And I was like, listen, it's the neighbour's cat. She does it, she comes in, she says hello and then she goes off again. She's she's a lovely, beautiful little cat. Don't even know her name, we call her Meow. I haven't seen her for a couple of days though, maybe they've scared her off. But yeah, bless him, go back in and let the cat out. <laughs> so funny. Oh, next week it is getting super, super cold, super cold. But I want this blanket finished for when this cold weather comes in. Yeah, I'm just glad that's done and I will be keeping an eye on the pipes. They shouldn't, they shouldn't go. Yes, right, I'm going to get on with my salad now. And there we go, that's my son's bacon roll. As I said, he's been in a friend's house today, so he's eaten. Uh, really well. He just wanted like a little snack for dinner. And my little uh, cauliflower cheese tart is in the air fryer now cooking and here's my salad. Nothing fancy tonight and I know it's winter and I know it's January and I'm eating salad but that'll go off first before the veg does because the veg I can freeze the salad not so much. Um, so yeah that's why I'm having salad at the moment. I know I'm doing these little bits but my son's not back in school till the 8th of January so that is when I will start doing more videos again. These are just um, little snippets of, um, of what I'm up to but once he goes back to school I will film in more detail. So there we go, it's ready, oh lovely, they're only like little mini ones, half would probably be enough but I'm feeling a bit hungry so I'm going to go for a whole one and um, got some caramelised onion chutney and I thought once this runs out I'm going to make some with all those shallots that I got from Lidl. Right, I am going to go and eat this now enjoy so take care and I will see you soon, bye. Hi guys, me again. So it is Friday today. Oh, I didn't even know what day it was today. I missed the bins, um, well I nearly missed the bins. Yeah, I always put them out on a Thursday night. I've lost a day or something's gone wrong. Anyway, I missed the food bin because they went super early, uh, but I managed to get the black bins out, so that was great. We went to the trampoline park this afternoon. We went a little bit earlier. We went three till five instead of four till six. Then we went to McDonald's afterwards, and then we went to Morrison's. I went looking for some special offers, but they only had like cheese that I don't eat so there was no point buying it and then we went to Aldi because I wanted a, a few things from there didn't get anything on 30% or yellow stickers uh, but I got a few things that were on offer this is for a couple of meals I want to make one I want to do the duck so uh, we were going to have this duck tomorrow night Saturday night as a fake away but my son wants something else now, so we're going to have that on the Sunday. But I am going to have a cooking day tomorrow. I need to cook. I need to get some meals back in the freezer, ready for when my son goes back to school. And um, and just for dinner time, really, when he gets home from school as well. It's so handy to have. Okay, so first of all, I got a load for £1.39 Hobbes. And then um, I asked my dad if he wanted anything. No, no, I'm fine. got back into it. Did you get any bread for me? Anyway, so he's had some of the loaf. Uh, he usually likes the 50-50. I have the white bread. So it gives me a couple of days now to go and get him a loaf. 
um, but you can share that with me. But that was one thirty nine, and then I got some of this Super Six offers. So I got some celery for I think this was thirty nine p. Yeah, thirty nine p. That's to go in my cooking marathon tomorrow. My son wants spaghetti bolognese. We've been going on and on and on. Spaghetti bolognese. So I'll do spaghetti bolognese, pasta bake and lasagna because he's eating it all. I got some spring onions for 29p. I got two bags of these mini Welsh miniature potatoes. And these were 39p each. So 80p for a kilo. Um, but they're so gorgeous and cute and we just have these so, as a main meal with some butter and some rock salt oh gorgeous so when I saw them I thought yes and I know I've got loads of potatoes I've got loads of potatoes in the freezer but I just saw them for I'm getting them then I bought some bean sprouts for 89p for 400 grams yeah and that's to go with our bake away. Same with the spring onions to go with our duck. I then got this massive pack of bacon. It was £4.29. I'm sure it was. Yeah, £4.29. Um, I get this sometimes from Home Bargains for £5. And this is the first time I've seen these massive packs of bacon in, um, in Aldi. My brother-in-law tells me about them all the time and he gets it from North Wales all the time. It's it says it's gorgeous. I think these sizes are a slightly bit thinner than what I get in Home Bargain, so they'll last a bit longer. So I will portion them up. I, um, I put them in a little plastic pot and then I portion them up and stick them in the freezer. And I got some Everyday Essential 25% beef mince. Uh, usually I get 20% but 25 is fine I just drain the fat off it doesn't bother me and I got two of them and these were on special offer for £2.29 £2 instead of £2.49 I think so I got two of them so I got a kilo for £4.60 and then I've been wanting salad cream for ages but the price of it I just thought I can't Anyway, I found a pot of it in Aldi for £2.50. It's only a little one and I got given some money for Christmas. So I thought, yes, I'm going to treat myself to some salad cream, high salad cream. So that was £2.49 and uh, that is what my adulting life is, treating myself to salad cream. <laughs> and then I got this massive Christmas pudding. So just before Christmas, I think these were like 5 99 something, 6 99 Then I went in after Christmas, they reduced them to 4 99 and I went in today and they reduced them to 1 99 My dad absolutely loves Christmas pudding and so does my brother. And I've still got that turkey in the freezer. This does not go out of date until February 2025. So I can even keep this till next Christmas. Yeah, I'm glad I've been keeping my eye on it. So that's a huge saving. And I spent £16.80. It's just been a really, really busy time. A lot of stuff going on at the moment. I just need to reset. I need to reset. So I had a lovely lie-in this morning. I've had a very relaxing day. Let me show you what I've been up to. I finished my blanket. Now then, I didn't stick to... Um, the colour pattern that was with this blanket, I just used the colours as I wanted them and then I'd done the same with the border. I didn't want to do any more lines because it's really long, I didn't want it any longer and I was getting a bit fed up and I didn't want to get be fed up for doing it because it's a beautiful blanket so I just made my own border as well. It's not perfect, this is just the border here, I've done it all the way around and then at the top and the bottom, I've just put that green stripe in there. But oh, I love the colours of this. Love it. So that is done. My blanket is done. Yay! And uh, I'm on to the next one. Yeah, so I've had a lovely day just finishing my blanket, starting a new one, just crocheting. I've had a really relaxing day. And then this afternoon, 
course we went to the trampoline path. But I am going to put this stuff away now and I'm going to sit down with a nice cup of tea and do some more crocheting and then tomorrow it'll be back to normal. Our friends that we go to birds with. Right guys, I'm going to put this away. So take care, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, me again. So it's Saturday today and oh my goodness, it is cold. So I've got my fluffy on and it's keeping me nice and warm. So today I'm going to have a bit of a cooking day. I've got a whole chicken that I got. Well, my dad got it actually from Asda. He ordered a duck and they sent this extra large chicken for three pounds instead. So I was like, yes, please. I'm not sending that back. So I froze it and I've got it in the slow cooker now and I'll just pick the meat off it and make a chicken korma. It's just jars of sauce, really easy, and rice. And this is all my batch cooking to get in the freezer. And I'm gonna make lasagna, pasta bake, and spaghetti bolognese. It's so easy. The base is just meat and tomato sauce. And then I layer it for lasagna. I put it on top of spaghetti pasta for spaghetti bolognese and the pasta bake. I um, just mix with some either twisty pasta or penne pasta and whack it in the oven. Really simple, but it just feels like we're eating different meals when really we're not. And it's just simple and I can make a load of meals like that. I want to chop some onions and get some carrots out of the freezer. It just bolts it up. You can use any veg you like. You can use mushrooms. I have done in the past, my son said this morning, don't put any mushrooms in it. I was like, okay. You can put loads of different veg in it. And I know I keep on saying onions, sorry, but I mean the shallots that I got in the veg wars before Christmas for 15p a bag from Lidl. I got loads of them. I just keep an eye on them. Uh, this one is starting to go now, so I'll chop it up and see what it's like inside. Every other day maybe just to have a check and if I think they're going, I'll chop them up and stick them in the freezer. Right, let's get on with all this now. So I've got one dish ready, I've got the pasta bake here and that's to go red in the oven. It's ready to go in the oven, sorry, it's not quite ready yet. I found a jar of pasta sauce, pasta bake sauce in my prepping pantry, so I used that. And I also scooped some of the mince and uh, tomato sauce in with there. And I've mixed it all up. I'm going to put that in the oven now. So with the pasta sauce, I fried the mince meat. I added some garlic, uh, soy sauce, mixed herbs, onions and celery. I forgot I bought the celery from Aldi yesterday, didn't I? So I put that in it. I didn't put any carrots in it. Then I added two jars of, no sorry, one jar of passata sauce, two tins of cheap to, uh, chopped tomatoes and I also put a tube of tomato paste in it and then I added some salt and pepper and it's just cooking away here now and I will use this for the lasagna and the spaghetti bolognese I have got spaghetti pasta on the back here, boiling. Yes, <laughs> you saw it then, have I? Yeah, it's on. The twisty pasta I cooked for about five minutes, came up to the boil and put it in the dish. You can cook it from raw, so you put your raw pasta in, you don't need to boil it. You add water and the sauce. Right then, I'm gonna start building the lasagna now. The chicken's in it. I have got some carrots boiling at the back here because I'm gonna do a Massaman Thai curry as well. I've got a jar of coconut milk in the prepping pantry, so I'll do that. And I'm gonna use some of those gorgeous little new potatoes that I bought from Aldi yesterday, I think. If I can peel them. I don't know if I'm going to peel them actually because they really, really are tiny. We'll see. Um, but I'm not going to do a massive, massive, massive man curry because I've only got one jar of sauce. But what, I'll do a chicken korma and the massive man curry as well, which I do with carrots and potatoes. I might put some chicken in it as well because that's a massive chicken. So I might put a little bit of chicken in it as well. Right, next, lasagna. Okay, so the spaghetti bolognese is done. My son's had some for lunch, so I've got four portions here. I've got 200 grams of spaghetti and 200 grams of the bolognese sauce. And I'll just leave these now to cool down 
out before I put them in the freezer. On the stove now I've got some of those new potatoes that I bought in Aldi yesterday and I thought oh, I just fancy some for lunch so I've got them boiling and I've got um, I found some new potatoes in the fridge in my veg drawer. Peeled them because they were a bit bigger than these little ones. So I peeled them, I put them in. So I've got peanuts, I bought some salted peanuts for Christmas. I actually bought cashews, but as they didn't have any, so they sent me the salted peanuts. And I completely forgot about them, so I've just found them in the cupboard now. Um, so I put them in with carrots and potatoes, and I'm just going to boil them. And I'm going to add my coconut milk and Massaman curry paste and I'll just simmer that um, and then later on I'll make some rice, I haven't made some rice yet. The lasagna and pasta bake are cooking in the oven. I also made a little mini lasagna because I had some stuff left over. That should be, yeah. Oh, see the steam? Wow. Um, that should be ready soon and I'll just let them cool down and then I'll portion them up because I find the pasta bake and the lasagna easier to handle and cut up when it's cold and the chicken is still in the slow cooker right guys i uh, i'm gonna have some lunch now and i will be back later okay so the lasagna is ready now so i've got four pasta bake four spaghetti bolognese i've got four lasagna in tubs like this and i've got one in a metal tin and i've got a portion of the little baby new potatoes because uh, i cooked a whole bag there's more than one portion there but I cooked a whole bag of them and um, these are what's left over after I had some for lunch. I don't know if I mentioned in the Massaman curry it was potatoes and carrots, a tin of coconut milk and um, just a squeeze of tomato paste and I just let that do its thing. The chicken should be nearly ready now in the slow cooker. So the next job is to do chicken korma and cook some rice to go with the chicken korma and the Massaman curry and plate it all up. And I'm hoping to have 20 meals that will see us through January then. There'll be plenty of um, meals for my son and I've got plenty of veg in the freezer to go with these meals. I can do garlic bread, I can do salad, I can do vegetables just to bulk it out a bit more. Okay guys, I'm nearly done now. I haven't been doing this all day. I've been doing it on and off. Chicken I just left in the slow cooker, but it is ready and look, extra large chicken. Look at all that meat. I'm gonna strip it off the bone in a minute. I'm just gonna phone my dad and see what he likes. He could have chicken and maybe he'd like some new potatoes. I'm not sure, and he loves a leg. So I will leave that for a minute. But I've got the korma sauce done, the Massaman curry, I've got um, basmati rice with cloves, cardamom and star anise and I've got some jasmine rice to go with the Massaman curry. Okay guys I am done finished and I fed my son and I fed my dad as well. I'm just going to have some food now in a minute. So I got five chicken kormas and I got four the Massaman Thai curries. I added 150 grams of rice 150 grams of sauce and then 50 grams of chicken my dad had chicken leg and potatoes from lunchtime that were left over he's having that he's going to add some veg to it my son's had spaghetti bolognese again <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna have a curry now i think so there'll be loads here for the freezer <sighs> so i'm gonna put some lids on these now and get them in the freezer yay so take care and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, me again. So I have been to the food pantry today. I've just got back. So I had an email to say they got loads of food today. So I was like, right, I'm gonna go. Oh, and I got a massive oh, bag full of goodies. And a lot of it is fruit and vegetables. Um, we got some treats. They had so much food today. Let me show you. So you go round in stages. You start with the fruit and veg. You go on to the fridge section, then the freezer section. At the end, they've got like bits and bobs and a lot of bakery stuff. And they had so much bakery. And she was like, "Oh, have this. Have two packs. Do you want two packs?" And I was like, "No, no, no. One packet is enough." So I got five white chocolate cookies. She's trying to give me two bags of them. I got some uh, jam donuts. Oh no, these are just sugar ring donuts, sorry. They're not jam. 
in my son's favourite. So got them donuts and then I got some brioche style wraps. Never had them before, never tried them, so super chuffed with that. I got some um, four grain rolls, they look nice. These will all go in the freezer. I'll get these sorted and put them straight in the freezer because um, I got a packet of six scones and then I got like cheese and onion, crisps, mini cheddars, Doritos, another packet of mini cheddars. And then the frozen stuff, I got British free range chicken breast fillets. I got a Charlie Bigham cottage pie had the um, tikka of one of them before and it was absolutely stunning and i also got a jumbo sausage roll so i'll just put these in the freezer they didn't have many fridge items today but that's fine i'm just really grateful what i got so she gave me a pepperami pizza bun not a clue and i got a yogurt um, there was some cheese there but it had cranberries and there was one with Stilton and I didn't, I won't eat it. I know my dad will but I thought somebody else might enjoy that more. And then um, oh, I got some tea bags, I got some cans of pop, Tango Sprite, Mango Pepsi, a Diet Coke. I also got a massive tub of, oh brandy sauce. Oh, I thought it was brandy cream because I thought I could make some ice cream with it. Never mind, that can go with the, I wonder if I can freeze it because then this can go with the um, Christmas pudding that I bought. It's not suitable for freezing. Oh, well, I'll see what I'll do with that because it's got brandy in it. I'm hoping it'll last a couple of days. And then I've got a load of fruit and veg. So I've got a pennant of grapes, a bag of onions, I got some parsley, a bag of sprouts, a mixed bag of cauliflower and broccoli, a bag of carrots, asparagus and some beans. I've had these beans before, I think I just need to have to go in the bin I'm afraid because they are brown but we'll see what I can do with them. I got a bag of sweet potato, I got a huge iceberg lettuce. I got some massive spring onions, yay! I got some parsnips. I got two avocados. Those are very squishy. Then I got three little tangerines, three apples, a lemon, and ooh, two kiwi fruits. Yay, so I'm so chuffed. Look at all this food. Oh, this should see me going for ages. Some of it just needs a little bit of prepping to make it last a bit longer. These parsnips will need using as soon as possible. Ah, that was my dad. Um, <laughs> not having a, a good couple of days again. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'll need to prep some of this food and just cut some of the, like, the tips of the parsnips are a bit monkey. So I just need to prep it all either freeze it or plan to use it somehow um, but some of this food is going downstairs to my dad's the asparagus the avocado he might want a couple of onions yeah so that is what i got today i paid five pounds for this that money then goes to help people and also running costs to keep this pantry the ladies that work there and the guys that work there are all volunteer they're really nice Okay, so I've just had a little Google now and the reason they say don't uh, freeze this is because when you're um, defrosting it, it could split, which I thought it was, and plus free freezing it does change the texture slightly, but I'm not bothered about that. So I am going to freeze this and then that will go perfect when it's time to have our turkey that I've got in the freezer and the brandy, uh, the Christmas pudding.
So I'm just going to make me and my son um, bacon rolls for lunch. I've cut these and I'm going to toast them because they are a bit crispy. I've put the cookies, I've left one out and I've left one donut out and I've left one scone out. The rest I have frozen. Bread rolls and scones and things like that I always slice because it's easier before I freeze them. And then I was just looking at this pepperoni pizza bun and that is ready to eat. It doesn't need to go in the fridge and it's best served at room temperature. There's meat in this. So what on earth, what do they put in it to keep it from not going off? Is it this, is it this special wrapper that it is in? I just, there's the list of ingredients, all that. Wow, just for a little pepperoni army pizza bun. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea now, eat our lunch, I've got everything that I wanted, oh, I need to put this in the freezer. The only thing I haven't prepped is the veg, I've just stuck it straight in the freezer, uh, in the fridge for now. I will slice those sprouts and get them frozen, uh, but I need to get my food processor and everything out for that. But I'm hungry so I'm going to have some lunch first and a cup of tea. Honestly, I think this is that strong tea, which I don't mind at all. I like strong tea. Oh yeah, right, so I'm gonna get these in the freezer and put them away. And that's it, and that is, that's done. Oh, I'm gonna have a nice scone after my bacon roll as well. Right, thanks for watching guys. Take care, oh, bacon's done. Take care and I will see you soon, bye. Hi guys, me again. I hope you can see me. It's so sunny outside and I don't want to look at it too long just in case it disappears again. So it's Sunday, I'm going to do a fake away and I'm cooking the duck. I've just got it in a tin like this. I am going to cook it on low about half an hour before we want to eat. I turn it up and make sure the skin is lovely and crispy. I want the duck to pull apart. Got some pancakes which I need to take out of the freezer. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the duck in like this for now. If the top gets a little bit too brown, I'll cover it with tin foil. But I've only got it on low, so it's absolutely fine. And here's the pancakes. I'm just gonna get these out. I froze them and you get 12 pancakes there. So I'm just gonna defrost these now and I will be back later when I'm ready to cook a bit more. Okay I'm back and um, my pancakes have defrosted. Oh look at that, they snapped. Never mind, they'll still be nice. I've got some, what is this, Smart Price long grain rice in the uh, in a saucepan on on the stove just in boiling water. I haven't turned it on, I've just left it soaking so it won't take it as long. I took the gozers, look how pretty these are. Chicken ones, pink. Vegetable are the yellow ones and the prawn are the orange ones for some reason. I would have done that the other way around but anyway. And I've got the little duck buns. Now then you can do these in the microwave but I think I might do them in the air fryer because I want mine a little bit crispy. Not the buns but the goats definitely I want crispy. Hmm. Anyway, right I need to get my noodles ready. Okay, so last time I made fake away I did like two nests of these and I did rice, I did a bag of rice and it was hardly eaten. So I'm not going to do loads today, I'm just going to do one nest of noodles. And what I do is put them in these plastic containers and put some boiling water on them. And I leave them there literally just for a couple of minutes. I don't want to overcook them. And while I do that, I'm just getting the spring onions ready. These were on special offer from Aldi's the other day. And these are to go with the, um, with the duck and the pancakes. But I'm going to chop them up for a bit of garnish as well. So I'm just going to shred these, finely chop these spring onions. You see? It's only me and my dad that likes spring onion on our duck pancakes. I don't even really, I might have one pancake, but I just like the duck. 
and the spring onion and the cucumber. Right, I'm going to drain the water off the noodles now and put some cold water on them. And then I'm going to chop some cucumber up and just have them into cucumber sticks. All parts of the spring onion you can eat the white bits and the really dark green bits but mine are going a bit manky so I'm not going to use them. I've got my bag of bean sprouts. So I'm going to do egg fried rice which is I just boil the rice and then I whisk an egg in a little dish and I microwave it and mush it all up like a scrambled egg and then I add that to the rice. I am going to do some stir fried noodles with onions and bean sprouts. I need to chop some onions. This is just um, a big onion so I'm just going to use one. And then I just slice my onion quite thin. And I'm going to do these noodles in honey and soy sauce. I've got some ginger out the freezer and a couple of cloves of garlic from my allotment. When I went there the other day quickly, my garlic that I planted has not done very well. I can only see a couple of green shoots, but there's still plenty of time to replant some, so I might do that. And this is the duck so far. Isn't that gorgeous? All I need to do now is turn the heat up and get that skin extra crispy, but oh, it's gorgeous. There's a lot of fat on duck on the skin underneath it so even if you do turn it up it's still the duck inside is just really nice and juicy still. I've got my cast iron pan here and just chuck my ginger and garlic into there. Can't even see. And then the onions and the sprouts will go in last minute and then the noodles as well. So I've got dark soy sauce, I've got some honey. I am just going to bring my rice now up to a boil. I put one star anise in it and I'm just going to bring it up to the boil, turn it off and leave it until it's done. And I'm putting some soy sauce in with the garlic and ginger. And that is what is on the menu tonight. Roasted duck with pancakes with spring onions and cucumber. We're having duck buns and chicken prawn and vegetable gozers. We're having stir fried noodles with bean sprouts and onion in soy sauce and garlic and just some plain egg rice, egg fried rice. It's not really fried because like I said, I do the egg before and just put it in the rice afterwards. Cheating, but I don't care. Lovely. Okay, so I drained and washed the rice. I scrambled the egg. I've added a little bit of soy sauce to it and the scrambled egg to the rice. And I put the lid on it, and that's good to go. In the frying pan, I've got the bean sprouts cooking in some garlic and ginger and a bit of soy sauce. I'm going to add the onions now on a bit of oil as well. The duck buns are in the air fryer, I've done the gozers and they're in the microwave and I've turned the duck off and I'm going to pull it out now so it can just rest for a second. There you go, there's the duck. Mm. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Right, I've turned my bean sprouts and onions off now and I'm just going to add my noodles. Um, I just need to heat these through so um, I'll do it really, really quick because uh, we don't want these to cook too much, otherwise it'll turn to mush. So we've got stir fry noodles and egg fried rice ready. I've got the gozers and the um, duck buns. the skin as well because it's my son's favourite but this look is just falling off and then you get the fork and you separate it oh that skin is so crispy it's just beautiful and the duck is just falling off the bone and there you go look at that can you see that oh isn't that beautiful so that is how I do my fake away. I've still got loads of duck left. I'm just going to do this for now. So we're going to go and eat this now. So thanks for watching, guys. 
take care and I will see you soon. Bye.